I came to United States uh, 2015, and due to some issues that we have because of my uh, visa, I had to separate from my wife for two years, and uh, we were we, we we get married in Turkey, and she had to come to United States, and she was eight month pregnant. Uh, my daughter was born here, and then at two years later, I joined them. And it was the hardest time in my life, uh, staying separate from my family, especially from my newborn baby that I I didn't have a chance to see him after two years, and I would see her just virtually uh, through the Skype and WhatsApp in two years. Finally, thank God, I, I was able to come and uh, join my family, and it was it was really really great time for me. I'll never forget that day. Uh, after that, when I came here, uh, I was looking for a job. My wife's friend's husband, uh, he had a, a used car dealership. They called uh, Buy Here, Pay Here. Um, she called me. She said, we need someone to uh, clean up our new yards. We bought the new yards, you know, or we add the new yards. We need someone to come and clean it up. We chop a lot of trees, and uh, there's a lot of mud and stuff and dirt stuff and we need to collect them clean it up to bring um, new cars in and i said okay I i'm gonna do it i had no idea i want to become a mechanic and i just that's prior to the you know mobile mechanic um, when i went there i started working it was a hard job every day since uh you know 9 a.m to 6 p.m i was just cleaning you know taking log logs and into the you know big uh u-haul type cars just i have to uh fill it up to like take them out and uh after a while i just i was watching that they had a mechanic shop inside the yard i was watching the guy he was working there uh his name was victor and uh i become a friend and i saw him he's really strong guy tall and I saw him, he fixing car every, every day, he removing differential, he removing a transmission, he's replacing brake pads and just, he was so happy and he was so active, just walking around, moving around and everybody respecting him, asking questions and just, he was responsible for all the cars was inside. I think we had like 200 cars in the yard, it was a big yard. And I, I, I really like uh, the way he was working and the, the job, uh, the the nature of the job, you know, because it was it it was challenging, and I like to be challenged. It was challenging mentally and physically because he always moving under the car, going off top of the car, just uh, going under the hood. He was coming out from the trunk and just a different different area. You need to work and go through and fit yourself through. Uh, I really liked it, and I talked to my boss. I told him, uh, "Is it possible? Can I go move myself to?" that mechanic shop do I I want to become a mechanic but they told me in order to for you to go there you need to find someone to fulfill your place so we can have you over there but right now we don't need anybody over there just we need someone at your place and you need to be stay here he didn't accept it and I told him uh, I'm gonna do this if you let me learn something I come seven I supposed to come at nine I come at seven and I'll leave at uh, nine uh, 8 8 p.m. Give me three hours a day. I can go work help him. I don't want any money Just I want to learn and he accepted he said that's fine and uh, after that I I was coming early and uh, I was starting around 7 up to 9 learning this skill and then normal uh, my work days and then after 7 until 8 I was cleaning the shop, you know, just seeing tools and all, everything and uh, after that, I had to go to ESL class because my English wasn't good at that time. Uh, it was a hard time for me because I was already missing my family. I didn't see them for two years. But uh, I think that sacrifice, uh, it was essential for me and for my family to be made. Uh, I can achieve something, so I can move forward, you know, because if I didn't learn language, if I didn't learn the skill, the, the base and fun foundation of that job, uh, I think I wasn't I wasn't be here right now, and after that uh, I just uh, start getting familiar with the jobs and names, cars name because I didn't know how to drive. I learned driving. I didn't know the names. My English got better, you know, better, better. And it took me one year, entire year, to just uh, adjust myself a little bit. After one year, I got sick. I got sick really bad, and I had to do surgery in my back. And I'm thinking personally, I don't know about you, uh, whenever you get sick, I think you got start, you know, getting upset or blaming or something. 
But every time I'm getting sick, I think it's, it's time for me uh, to do something that I was not able to do it before because I have time. I got sick, I got surgery, and doctor told me you have two months, you need to, you need to rest for two months to get recovered. I, I had a back surgery, and I think that two months was a great time for me to read and write and learn. And uh, when I went home, I, I was not able to sleep on my back. I had to sleep on my stomach. Uh, I told my wife, go buy a couple books, mechanic books. She went buy a couple, like Toyota, Ford, and a couple other books, and he, she brought it to me. And I started reading and writing names and just how it work, you know, what's a valve cover, what's a control arm, what's the engine mount, what's an oil pan, how the engine operates, how the transmission operates, how they connect together, what's the exhaust for, what's this for, what's suspension, AC heater. And after a while, I think after two months, I gained a lot of knowledge. And whatever you want to do, you need to learn the fundamental because if you don't, if you miss that part, you can't move forward because you're going to get in trouble later because you don't know the basic things. I learned that when I went back to the, uh, my job and my, I told my boss, hey, I know a lot of stuff right now about this job, you know, let me work in the shop. And he tested me. Uh, I did some valve cover gasket, I did some brakes, Mercedes, BMW, they were doing a lot of Mercedes and BMW. And uh, yeah, I improved myself. Then I quit after a while, you know, I couldn't come along with the manager, the new manager they hired, and I quit. Uh, I need to do something. I had a car and uh, I had a friend, he, had, he, he was working in a company, uh, it was a mobile mechanic company, he, he told me come over and you can work and I went there, uh, I applied and they accept me, they, they hired me, I worked there for I think six months and uh, I learned uh, you know, how does the mobile mechanic job or uh, just how does this job operate. Uh, then uh, one day I got a call from my district manager, he said you're fired. I said, why? He said, because the lady she called, I did the oil change, the cold winter day, it was like, I think, super cold day, and my hand was just shaking, and I frozen, and uh, I, drained, I drained the oil, and the wind just hit that oil, just spread around the driveway, and some, uh, it was a mess. I don't say it was her fault, I don't say it was my fault, but just I can say just some bad luck, or but that bad luck turned to good luck. I can say say this. Sometimes, you know, the bad thing happened in order to push you somewhere else. You know, just good thing happened over there. They fired me. Uh, I said, I don't have anything to do right now. I don't know what I need to do. I have a rent to pay. I have kids. I have family. I have bills coming. And I don't have any income. And I start doing mobile mechanic. I, I was... I was digging through the channel. There is a channel. It's called Scanner Danner, and I learned this uh, to give that credit to whoever belong. And I really appreciate from the way he's teaching and the stuff he's sharing around for really, really cheap price in that time. And uh, I learned a lot from him. And uh, I learned that don't be a part changer. And that was a turning moment for me from uh, just, it changed my perspective toward this job because I was thinking, learning, the replacing the timing belt, it's going to make me a great mechanic or changing the brake pads fast or do some stuff, removing bolts, nuts, putting back. And I was wrong because uh, after learning the stuff he's doing, like having those scanners and the wiring and the waveform, and just he's doing scope and stuff, uh, I become obsessed with that. Just I said, I'm going to learn it. And I purchased all the tools that he was using. I put myself on a really high pressure of financially because I didn't have enough money to buy those stuff and I financed them. Snap on, I think, charging me like 40% rate, uh, the interest rate, uh, because of that. Uh, scanner that I bought it was eight thousand dollars and plus the forty percent and the, just they financed me and I think I paid sixteen thousand or something for that scanner and not just that a lot of tools that I bought uh, beside that but I think that things changed totally my perspective and my the way that I was going because I, I learned the stuff most people they don't know I see a lot of mobile mechanics that include the people they work in my company they don't want to do hard things, you know, and they want to do the easy things. But they don't understand when you learn this process, this process becomes so much easier than the other things. Because I put a lot of hard work in advance and uh, 
slowly, slowly my name spread around. Just, you know, people, they would keep calling me. I, I didn't know them. Uh, they were asking, hey, I have a car and not starting. Someone came, told me this, and it didn't work. Can you come and check? And constantly I was going, doing the same thing, and I learned. And, uh, and I found out I have more job that I'm capable to finish. I'm getting more customers and I had to just go and find someone else and I hired another person, hired another person, hired another person and I think in two, uh, in, in one year I can say the last year my company growed, uh, I can say like uh, from zero all the way to 100% and it's still we are growing uh, but uh, I think I'm the first mobile mechanic I was able to open my shop, you know, all buy all the equipment, cash and just no finance, debt free uh, hire people they work there and uh, use that uh, company for backup you know sometimes and uh, uh, I'm thinking if you do a mobile mechanic you need to have some sort of connection with some shop because something happened in customer's car or something happened or you make you need you need extra money you can make some more money you can talk with the owner get some discount and bring jobs that you're not able to do it outside just tow it there and just let let them do it and I do all of them, even I pick up the car, drop off the car, uh, those services, and I was able to scale my business really good, and we had really good reputation right now in the, the city that we are living, maybe in the future we open uh, another you know, branch in another state, another city, who knows, but uh, we are keep going, and uh, this is really important, you need to educate yourself, you need to learn the basic and fundamental very good, uh, but in the right way, not just going removing parts. Don't learn that because you're going to learn that anyway. You'll be at the shop, you will learn how to do oil change, how to do wheel bearings, how to do differential engine transmission. Those are easy jobs, in my opinion. The hard job is just do the wiring, do something that people, they don't have, you know, that, that knowledge to do it, you know, finding, a, you know, why battery is draining, why the car is not starting, why it is not getting power, why it needs programming or some stuff like this. And uh, uh, I think that was the great way for me to go. And I recommend you just do it. Spend some time in advance. Just educate yourself. And uh, that was it for today. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for staying with me. And uh, please, if you find value in this video, just hit the like. Uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification too. And I can spread this uh, in helping more people if you share it. Uh, with other friends, the people they consider being mechanic or opening new business, other repair shop or mobile mechanic shop. And if you're looking for tips, tricks, uh, learn how to do this business, I think this is the right place. You need to be, you know, consider subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.